merciless genocide our native land has ever seen. They were the first to lose their lives in the struggle to defend our freedom and independence, and they who as a people perished in the result. Today, as a country, we keep an inaudible, an audible silence about these ancestors of the generations that live, fearful to admit the horror of the former deed, seeking to obliterate from our memories a, a cruel occurrence, which in its remembering should teach us not and never to be inhuman again. I am formed of the migrants who left Europe to find a new home on our native land. Whatever their own actions, they remain still part of me. In my veins courses the blood of the Malay slaves who came from the East. Their proud dignity informs my bearing, their culture a part of my essence. The stripes they bore on their bodies from the left of the slave master are a reminder embossed on my consciousness of what should not be done. I am the grandchild of the warrior men and women that the Zanzibar Kukuni led. 
veterans are dead dry on the people took to bed. The soldiers, the French friend, Mumunyane taught never to dishonor the cause of freedom. My mind and my knowledge of myself is formed by the victories that are the jewels in our African crown. The victories we earned from Isan Dwane to Khartou. Ethiopians, as the Ashanti of Ghana, as the Berbers of the desert. I am the grandchild who lays flowers on the Boa graves at St. Helena, the Bahamas, and the Fora Monument, who sees in the mind's eye and suffers the suffering of a simple peasant folk, death, concentration camps, destroyed homesteads and dream in ruins. I am the child of Nungawuse. I 